Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's Luna Nakazawa here, and today we're going to be dipping our toe into the VTuber Newsy News Pool. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. Our first piece of news. Okay, here we go. This is Mike Neko. So, we all know Mike Neko, this content creator. They jump around a lot. We're going to just focus in on Mike Neko. I guess the probably the easiest way to explain it is the voice actor behind Mike Neko has been a lot of places, has been a lot of things. So Mike Neko is an independent Japanese VTuber who, who streams primarily on YouTube. So why are we talking about Mike Neko today? Well, friends, Mike Neko is trying to diversify her portfolio. So this is on the virtual YouTuber subreddit, and this is posted by Reexerium. And it says, Mike Neko is trying to appeal to Spanish-speaking people with a Spanish ad. Okay, so very interesting, right? Uh, so so if you know, uh, Mike Neko is primarily a Japanese VTuber. However, now she is presenting Spanish language content. So let's take a peek-see on what these comments say. And people are saying, now before anything, I should clarify, this is a normal tactic for many Japanese VTubers use. It's a surprise if I don't see one of these ads in my feed at least once a week. I'm just saying it's surprising Mike Neko is doing it now. And then we have, this is important context. She used a phrase new Wactor members always employ in their introductions, which left the Spanish community quite shocked as they ponder the implications if she's joining or making a riff. There's also speculation she's one of the current 910 Wactor rebrands that is trying to hint at. So... This, yeah, this is a great comment. So let me just, uh, so this is the context that they're talking about. Every Wactor talent included the line, Inscribe in mi cala emeliente as part of their ES introduction video, every Wactor talent, even the Japanese, English, and Chinese. I'm not all into the ES scene, so I don't know what is spread beyond Wactor. It is also conceivable she picked it from a Wactor video. Be careful about reading too far into this. And it says, edit. Mike Neko's video uses the same script as the first 30 seconds of this introduction from Hikui Miu made back in 2021. Miu is also a Wactor talent. She was their very first VTuber and moved under the 910 MCN this year. And then this is C Wactor's press release. Oh, sorry, hold on. There's a comment here. It says, as a Spanish speaker, I much I must say the scariest part is that she said word by word the usual presentation greeting of ex Wactor members. Right, exactly. This is yeah. So Wactor, as we know is very, very problematic. But Wactor has rebranded to 910 Inc. But anyways, let's continue. This is the link that people are commenting on. So let's take a, let's take a listen to this. Hola. ¿Cómo está, mis amigos? ¿Están bien? Muy bien. Mucho gusto. Yo soy Mike Neko. Yo soy muy tierno. Dico que soy lindo? ¿Cierto que sí? <laughs> sí. Inscríbete en hmm. mi canal. Inmediatamente. Ah, that Inmediatamente. Uh -huh. Inmediatamente. <laughs> Let's look at the, where the script was lifted from. Hola, ¿cómo está? Mis amigos, ¿están bien? Muy bien. Mucho gusto. Yo soy Mia Hizuki. Soy cantante virtual. Yo soy muy tierna. Diga que soy linda. ¿Cierto que sí? Sí. Inscríbete a mi canal. Inmediatamente. Okay. So essentially, you get the idea. There's, it's, it's pretty much the same. People are speculating that. This creator here at 910 Inc. could possibly be Mike Neko. Obviously, this is speculation at this point. Nothing is confirmed. Mike Neko tends to, uh, you know, when when presented with, hey, is this you? There's a lot of like, no, legal, legal. I'm going to get some legal stuff in there. Th there is speculation at this point, but nothing is confirmed is what I'm trying to say. Let's read some more comments here on on reddit okay so this person says 
I hope she genuinely genuinely wants to speak Spanish because the whole JP VTuber who speaks Spanish trope is kind of infamous in the community, mainly due to Wactor ads and opportunistic Japanese VTubers who only use the Spanish audience to grow up their numbers and trick the YouTube algorithm. Hopefully she does want to stream or learn Spanish because if she's only using Hispanic numbers to trick the algorithm, it could end up really bad for her. And it says she will seek the same amount of Spanish as she speaks English, which is very little curious why this would be bad for her. And it says considerable amount of people are really tired of the whole Japanese VTuber speaks Spanish after the whole Wactor drama and a bunch of opportunistic VTubers that only use the community to increase their numbers and to trick the algorithm. It's nothing bad per se, but if she screws up she could alienate a good chunk of the spanish community uh, and then it's not bad per se it's just the fact that we latinos are not so profitable so vtubers speaking spanish is normally seen as a desperate attempt to rack up numbers even by us latinos oh goodness okay let's take a look at some viewer comments here yo man says as a spanish speaker i must say this is the scariest part that she said word by word the usual presentation greeting of the ex wactor member megalodon says mika neko and wactor one of the Worst VTuber companies ever. This isn't going to end well. She wants that golden button, Rodrigo says. Sardino says, Miguel Neco. Joe says, I can confirm being native in a Spanish-speaking country. It is cringe what Mike Neco is doing. Thank you so much to the Spanish viewers who were able to give me some insight into this. Thank you. Your thumb is on the pulse, so you know things a lot better than I do. So thank you so much for your input. Okay, so just remember... Her joining Wactor is a rumor, but her lifting the script is what we just saw in this video uh, here. Take from that what you will, but uh, please don't sue me. Okay, on to our next piece of news. Okay, uh, this is posted on the Virtual YouTuber subreddit, and this was posted by uh, Danganropa05. And it says, VTuber Coconuts is pleading with Twitch for a straight answer on why they are suspended. Okay, so this is a screen capture of a conversation between Coconuts and Twitch support. So Coconuts on Twitch says, Hey, Twitch support and Twitch, could I talk to a real person about my ban instead of y'all's shitty automated email response? I'd really like to know why I'm getting the same length of ban as someone who did something spicy on stream. Twitch Sports says, hey, Coco, I can see that you've appealed the suspension and that it was manually reviewed by the team and subsequently denied. The social team are unable to alter this outcome. Wow. Coconut says, I didn't appeal anything. I asked why and you all told me too bad laughing my ass off. How am I supposed to appeal something when I don't even know what I did wrong? And then Coconut says, hey, Twitch support, it is... Is, is your job just to provide the illusion of support since y'all don't seem to actually provide any? Twitch didn't respond to my ticket or ban appeal. So why the F, so what the F am I supposed to do? If you could get me a real person or give a real answer, that would be great. And then Coconut replies, day two, still nothing from Twitch and Twitch support. Haven't responded to my ticket, denied my appeal, and no messages from any rep. They still refuse to tell me why I got banned, how I am supposed to learn a lesson if I don't even know what I did wrong. Uh, yeah, this is, listen, I, I've, I have a big problem with Twitch and YouTube not having their own like internal support structures. The fact that you have to go on Twitter and tag them a lot of times is the only way to get help. And I think that that's a really silly in this day and age for, especially cause like, let's face it. Twitter is, is also like on fire as well. There's a term in the tech world called shitification, which is that sometimes when you start something on the internet, so if you start a business on the internet, things are great. And like, then they start to get greedy and then they're like, Hey, can I provide the what what's the littlest amount i can provide uh and then people get tired of it and then people leave the platform right so anyways this is the shitification of twitch and youtube it's really sad that they don't have their internal customer support network that where they can actually support creators and support you know like people who are actually who actually have a problem and it's not like an automated bot, you know? So it's super frustrating. So coconut, I completely understand. All right, let's get, let's read some of these comments here. Freedom hero 141 says, friendly reminder that the lady got her ch what? <laughs> what? <laughs> friendly reminder that the lady that got her ch clapped live got banned for three days. 
All right, so this person, Rotten Rose ASMR, says, The lack of support and being unable to appeal is a cherry on top. As if it wasn't already bad enough, Twitch is so unclear on what is and isn't allowed for attire. Plus the fact that IRL streamers are allowed to blatantly break those rules and VTubers get punished so harshly. It's honestly, it's true. It's true. Like, even like recently, last week, Last week, I, I, did a, I did a report on the Q4 of Niji Sanji, and I got, I got slapped with like a, hey, this is sexual content. I got slapped with like a mature audience, and, and they deleted the VOD for that day because, because of what? I have no idea. It's just, it's redonkulous. It's absolutely redonkulous. It's honestly like so true. Like VTubers do get punished so harshly on these platforms, and it's not really fair. It's not really fair. It's floor clips. That's very nice. And now you have a clip speed. Okay? Mm -hmm. um, suppose you want to check out the stories to see what you missed yesterday. You click there. And now you're in your stories feed. Okay? Okay. This person, Blue Mog, says, Crazy the amount of booty and half-naked women are on Twitch that aren't banned, but a VTuber is banned without reason or support as to why. It's not cool. Just a clear being like, hey, this timestamp, you know, this. Then you're like, oh, okay, okay, awesome. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Wow. It would be lovely if, if there was just a little bit more transparency. That's all. I'm very sorry, coconuts. This is coconuts here. So if you can support them, please do. On to our next piece of newsy news. All right. So this is on the Kudo Sanji subreddit. And this is posted by Couch Potato ID. It's we're so back moment for Kudo Sanji and Hollow Live ID Bros. And then it says Risu collab with Michi. So Michi is living her best life, collabing, and uh, and yeah, it's a, it's a it's a rough day for Kudo Sanji. They finally reunited. And then it says this picture is worth a thousand words. <laughs> the truck flipped over. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> On to our next piece of newsy news. Here we have uh, we have Ran. Uh, Tsukiha. All right, so Ran Tsukiha is a fir uh, is a female virtual YouTuber affiliated with production kawaii's Hana Mizuki. So why are we talking about Ran? Well, we have a graduation. So this is posted on the production kawaii official Twitter slash X. And it says, graduation announcement. We regret to announce that Ran of production's kawaii Hana Mizuki will be graduating on September 1st, uh, 2024. JST, due to personal circumstances that have taken a toll on her mental health. Please refer to the statement below. Okay, so this is a graduation statement. It says, graduation announcement. It's with a heavy heart we announce the departure of production kawaii's Hana Mizuki's talent, Ran Tsukiha, on September 1st, 2024. Up until now, production kawaii has supported Ran Tsukiha in her creative ventures and projects. We have looked forward to transforming her into an idol. However, due to unforeseeable family-related circumstances that have greatly impacted her mental health these following months, she has made the decision to depart from production kawaii in order to focus on her life. We will respect her decision to do so. Following the announcement, we would like to kindly request everyone to respect Ran Tsukiha's privacy. We are extremely grateful for all the contributions she has made to production kawaii as a whole, not just to the company, but also to the talents, many of whom will remember her as a VTuber with many creative talents. Many of Ran Tsukiha's birthday donothons rewards have been fulfilled, but for the remainder that hasn't been fulfilled yet, production kawaii promises to deliver on them as soon as possible. Please rest assured we are working with Ran Tsukiha to ensure everything will be delivered by August 2024. All merchandise sales regarding relating to Ran Tsukiha alongside memberships will also cease on September 1st, 2024. Her ex account will be locked after graduation. Her YouTube channel will be left untouched and her content will remain up to signify that she was part of us once. So we hope you can cherish the memories of her with us now and even after her departure. We hope everyone will also respect her decision. Production Kawaii wishes nothing but the best for Ren Tsukiha from here on. So that is the official graduation announcement on Twitter. And people are like wishing you the best. Thank you for being part of Kawaii. We love you. So much love to Ren. It's been a magical moment and we've had together. I love you so, so, so much, Ren love. And then it says, much love to Ran, as I know she was loved by everyone in Kauai, and I'm confident she and her family will pull through best wishes. Essentially, the press release makes it sound like a mental health issue, which is 
so important to always take time for especially for vtubers mental health seems to be like the number one major factor when it comes to like workplace hazards definitely mental health is like the number one that vtubers have to mostly deal with so i hope that she is okay and i hope that she takes time for herself and her family but uh wow wow this is a bit of a shock and it looks like uh she was very beloved as as you can tell on on the comments on twitter and on reddit as well so unconfirmed if this is the pl okay on to our next piece of newsy news this is our last piece of newsy news okay but this is very positive so it says doki answers if she'll reconnect with more people okay let's take a listen then i'm really happy that everything just worked out in the end i'm happy that mint reached out like mm. I, said, like, I said like to people who are like oh why don't you talk to this person why don't you talk to that person like um regarding like people i'm used to um might have talked to before um i'm just letting them do the first step mm. because like i don't want to intrude on anything mm. and i don't know like where i'm at at certain places so because of that that's why i'm not doing the first step when it comes to these things because i don't want to put anybody in like a weird position mm. uh for anything so like usually i'm just waiting for people to do the first step mm. like I, uh, i'm if they if they extend their hand to me first mm. then, um then obviously i'll reciprocate so essentially she's which is which is very lovely uh this video is essentially saying that if people reach out the hand that she'll reciprocate which is super kind and uh and then so the comments say i hope this clip reaches the right people so that they can make the first step yeah absolutely so the world is healing uh and then it's completely understandable it makes me so happy she's able to smile and even reconnect with some people now it warms my heart and then it says reminds me of that clip where doki said she's afraid to bother mint and mint was also afraid to bother her i know right we're all just being very very polite in the vtuber community but anyways it's really nice for doki it's, it's super sweet that she's able to reconnect with people because doki is just an absolute gem speaking of doki here is some more doki news uh this is on doki's twitter slash x it says official 3d models and it says, these models are now free to download and can be used for fan games, animations, mods. Thank you to the creator for letting me pub publish them for the Dragoons. So this is super cool. The crow is super adorable. On to our next Doki piece. We have, okay, this is on Doki's Twitter slash X. It says, merch store reopening. And Doki says, we finally have a real website now. Our new staff team work to get this up and running we're still working on the graphics but the main bulk of it is done also our very first voice pack is out hooray so this is so this is the uh this is ah <laughs> krauky uh voice pack okay so this is this is the this is the doki merch.com website it is super cute very colorful we got charms we got stands we got the bundles, stickers. This is gorgeous. Wow. More. Uh, we got some buttons. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? What is this? Okay. We can't show that. It's too spicy. Okay. Wow. Uh, stickers and rob a bank bundle. And of course, we got the voice pack for the crow. Oh my goodness. Super cool. Super cool. Anyways, this is a beautiful website. Wow. 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 Beautiful. A plus plus. Um, okay, and my friends, that is the end of the VTuber Newsy News. We did it. Good job, everybody. All right, if you had to fart, fart now is the time.